A veteran of the military is also a veteran of the classroom, and though he retired long ago from the Air Force, he is a regular on one East Tennessee campus. A little bit like home now. I know my way around pretty well. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but lots of classes in this building here. At age 78, Norm Naylor is five decades older than many of his classmates on the campus of Pellissippi State Community College. Well, just to uh, get my feet wet, I took a year's course in uh, U.S. history, which I used to teach, and I realized I sure forgot a lot. <laughs> it's, it sounds like it's energized you. Just, oh, it has. Uh, just to be a around these younger learners. Yeah, it, it is, and, and I do learn from them. He also walks into class holding more degrees than most professors. How many degrees do you have? I have four. You have four degrees? Right. I have a Bachelor in Economics from the University of Redlands, a Master of Arts in Teaching History from the University of Laverne, and a Specialist in Education and a Doctorate of Education from the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley. It's about nine, nine years of college. Nine years of college. Yeah. And you're not done with college. No, I'm taking my 22nd or 23rd course right now. It's an anthropology course. Anthropology is online this semester, but rather than a solo setting, he prefers a classroom. I took introduction to theater, which is very interactive with the students. Um, next semester, I'm taking a course in African-American history. Well, I can offer sometimes a different point of view or sometimes a little point of humor. Take the critical thinking class where a fellow student made a case to require people over the age of 65 take a driving test. And she gave a very good logic argument. At the end of the, every presentation, polite, polite applause. I booed very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> the police went nuts. <laughs> it's full of life. And, and that's, that's, um, that's intoxicating, you know, when you're around somebody like that. It as director of veteran services for Pellissippi State, Trevor Harvey knows Norm Naylor as both student and veteran. He's a perfect example of, of a lifelong learner. Then I was here, part of the disaster preparedness team. The retired lieutenant colonel served more than two decades in the Air Force. He rewrote equal opportunity regulations, trained younger airmen, and has traveled by jeep and by jet. Back to of a phantom jet. How was that right? Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Out of his wallet, he pulled what he called his two most important cards. One is my retirement from the United States Air Force. And I think I, I carry that proudly. And the other is a Pellissippi student identification card. And I like to brag that I do have a good grade point average because I'm a good student. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. And I don't take the exams. <laughs> After almost a dozen years auditing classes, this retired airman is again helping fellow veterans, launching an endowment scholarship to help in emergencies. And they, they come to school and things just happen in their life. A child needs dental work and they don't have the funds for that. Within the five campuses that we have, we have over 400 uh, student veterans. We want to see them walk across the stage with their with their degree and because that's a that's a, a milestone moment for them. It's a chance to give back after I'm gone and I think that's what's important. On campus or off, in or out of uniform, Norm Naylor lives by a three-part philosophy. Never stop learning, stay active, and give back when you can. Serve your community. You can see our other service and sacrifice stories and honor your own veteran with a photo and a story right now in the service and sacrifice section of WBIR.com.